Hello everyone, welcome to episode 5 of Leaf Play's Kerbal Space Program. Last time we tried to build planes and, well, none of them really worked out so well. And today we are going to continue to try to build planes because we had a comment on the last video that kind of explained what I was doing wrong. And I'd like to try at, uh, like try out his suggestion. I think it was a guy by the name of Regal Platypus, which, by the way, is just is a great name. Okay, so in the last episode, I tried to use let me see, like one of these rock, like uh, fuselages. Is that what it's called? Yes. That's too big. But you know, one of these, and it didn't work at all. And I couldn't figure out why, but apparently, I was using the wrong, uh, engines. Like, I don't- I, I didn't bother to look, really read what any of these things do, I just tried things until it worked. And I guess, this thing, what's it called, uh, MK2 fuselage, has liquid fuel, but it doesn't have any of the, uh, what, like, oxidizing stuff? What's it called? to find it somewhere. Yeah, oxidizer. Like, this one has oxidizer and liquid fuel. This one only has liquid fuel. And apparently you need oxidizer for these engines to work. Otherwise, you can only use base, like, you know, jet engines. And the jet engines will only work if they have air intake, which I did not have last time. So, all of a sudden this makes, like, way more sense. So, we're gonna try this again. And I'm also using a, a smaller ship this time because I figured it'd be easier to get the lift. It doesn't have to be weighed down by so much fuel and components and all that. So, we're going to do this and then we'll put on jet engine here. Does that look kind of. Well, it doesn't really look great. Maybe I'll move this out of the way. We'll put on a piece to make this smaller. If I flip this around, like that, and then put on, yeah, so it's sort of more streamlined. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but I'm doing it. And you can't stop me. And then for this, we'll need some sort of air intake, which I think we'll use these. I'm probably going to put. Uh, on. I don't know if you necessarily need more than one, actually. I guess I don't know. I have absolutely no idea if you need one for each section or not. But I'm going to do one for each, each... I'm going to do one for each section just to be safe. So that should work. You know what? Let's just try to make sure. Just a quick test to make sure that this uh, this engine setup is functional because it should be here we'll throttle up and then go yes it's totally working I mean this thing's just gonna slide along the ground like a I don't know a thing nothing really slides around like this Maybe like a train off the of tracks oh no oh death let's okay. just revert to the space hangar so, we know that works, which is awesome. And now, we should probably put, like, wings on this thing. Probably some wheels or something. You know, something that makes it a plane rather than just a rocket on the ground. So, let's turn on center of mass and center of lift. Center of lift, there is none, obviously. Center of mass is, like, right around here. Okay, now... Before we start adding things, we gotta think about what we want this plane to do. Because if we want it just to sort of fly, then that's pretty easy. We'll just put on some wings, make sure the lift and gravity are kind of, or lift and mass are sort of centered right, and then it should be good to go. But if we wanted to get the space, which I think we we are hoping to, we're gonna have to add some stuff. Because these jet engines will not work in space, as, you know, there's no air in space. So, I think we're gonna, going to try to do that, but of course, we're going to need different engines. 
We'll need to use like these liquid fuel engines that I'm rather fond of. So take out one of those, and then we need those need their own power. I would assume. So we'll get these these fuel tanks because they don't need any extras. And then we'll just go ahead and plop these on the back, I think. Like so. Oh, no, that needs to go back. I put in the wrong spot. There we go. And then we'll need two of these. There we are. How does that look? Um, who knows? And because these aren't gonna be taking in any air, we might as well go into here and put a nose cone on them. I can do that. There we go. Wait, didn't go on. Why? Why won't you connect? There we go. Not sure what that was about. But, okay, so we have that done. And I think. Hmm, I'm trying to think how I want to do this. Well, I'm probably going to... I'll need to put wings on, but I'm also thinking about once this thing re-enters the atmosphere, how it's going to fly, because I am... Well, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back into propulsion, and I'm going to get these uh, fuel ducts, and we're going to bleed fuel from these into these, like so, and we're going to do the same thing these other ones and the reason for that is I don't think it's gonna take all of the fuel in these to get us to space or at least to get us to the point where uh, this engine is no longer functional so whatever's left over is going to go into these so we'll be able to use those in space and I think I don't know if there's actually any fuel in here or not I should probably find out uh, switch what is this thing adapter okay so there is fuel in it not a lot but there is some but we'll probably just leave that empty for now because there's really not that much anyway so okay at this point we're gonna use this engine to get us to like the edge of space and then these will get us into space and help us maneuver around when we're up there etc which will probably use up all of the fuel we have here. So when we come back in to the atmosphere, we probably won't have any more. So I'm gonna add another set of engines on to handle that. And at this point, I am slightly worried that it might be too heavy, but I don't know, where am I going here? Yeah, just like these little ones. Yeah, I'm a little worried that this is going to end up being too heavy, <clears throat> but we'll find out. We can always shed weight if we have to later. I'm gonna put these on, maybe. There we are. If it's gonna work. No? It says no over here. Why? I don't know. That's weird. Um, and then we're gonna go and add on in the aerodynamics. We'll go Put on circular intakes and put those on here. Good. Okay, so that looks kind of rockety, right? Of course, um, we're going to need to put some wings on this thing or it's never going to go anywhere. So, we'll start off, I think, by putting some up here. And then we'll just sort of work our way back because we'll probably end up over here. Actually, we might be able to do this and just these. If that'll. Okay, can you just cooperate, Blaine? Well, that looks super broken. Let's move these back to here. Let's see if this works at all. Okay, let's do that. How does this look? Still pretty broken. Although, it does say, like, it says that it should work. I don't really like this setup too much, though. I feel like it should connect. And maybe that's just an aesthetics thing, but I don't know. I feel like we could have some issues. 
Let's see, what if we put like a set of these here? Like that. I don't know, that looks better to me. But it also has an issue with this, but let's move this forward to like right here. And then we can move these back. It's all about getting this uh, centered and balanced. Right. How does that look? A little bit better. Mass is still off though. So, let's see. We could probably add some wings, like tail fins, to the back. That would. Mm, that helps a little bit. Our spacing is still off, though. What if... We could move these forward, I suppose. Like, I'm gonna drop these off here, move this over here, and then we can... try moving this stuff forward. What if we put them up here? Is that... that is not straight? There. So if we put those there, and move these back here, maybe? How would that work? Sort of doesn't. Let's get rid of these front ones. Delete that, and then we'll delete this. Hmm. I'm going to move these back, because I don't particularly like having them uh, so far forward. I feel like they, they probably won't give the amount of thrust as far forward. I don't know, it's maybe, it's probably just an aesthetic thing, but you know, I don't want the exhaust to be hitting the wings, which could happen. Let's move this up here. Well, actually, let's delete that. Oh, I forgot, we still have our tail fins up, but we'll leave those there for now. We'll continue trying to put decent wins on here. What else do we have? Nothing. Hmm. Let's look at swept wings. These I never really use because they seem hazardous, but let's put them on and just see what happens. And then we'll put some delta wings up here. Maybe. No. Swap that out for a structural wing. And actually, if we do that, and then just sort of. No, we can't move those back at all. Probably won't use these. Well, I kind of want to. I don't know why. I just think they look cool, and I've never really used them much. I don't know if they actually offer any sort of lift, or what. Nah, we'll get rid of them. Well, I know they they give lift, it's just I don't know how well you can control them. Let's get rid of this, too. I don't know how to balance this very well, do I? Let's try... Let's put these on. How's that? If we do that, and then put... Like these up here? No, it's stupid. Anybody watching this is probably just like, you know, assuming I'm a bit of an idiot right now. Which is fair, I suppose. Okay, let's put these on the back again. And then... We'll add these here. Like so. And we'll need to have some sort of, where are those, like control thing, yeah, here we go, flaps, that's the word I was looking for, we'll put those on here, and that's actually pretty close, let's see, what does this do, um, no idea, let's toss one on, Actually, this might 
be able to even it out. No. Use something else. Tail fin. Looks delta wing, maybe? We might be able to get this to work, actually. If we put these on here. And then move this piece back. No. We could move the whole engine part back, though. Like this. But not enough. Well, maybe. And then if we move this back. Okay, there we go. Well, everything's sort of lined up. I don't know how well this is actually going to work, though. Oh, yeah, let's go into utility and we'll put some wheels on this thing. Uh, there we are. Now, let's get underneath the plane here. We'll put a pair on there and another pair on the wings, I think. that. There we go. That does not look right. The angles are off. Let's see if we can move this. Can I get a hold of this? Oh god, what have I done? Get back on. Okay, good. How does that look? Um, I actually don't think I can get that angle to work out because of the shape of this, so we're gonna take this and we'll just put them in the back. Double up on that. Put it back there. How does that look? Better. That should work. Okay, now I don't I don't know how well this is going to fare. Actually. Before we take it out and test it, we should go into action groups and we're going to set up how these engines are going to function. So, custom one, we'll do this one, and that will be toggle engine. Custom two, we want these, and that's toggle engine, and then custom three, we want the re-entry jet engines, and then we'll toggle the engine on that too. So, hopefully this works. We're going to find out. A good point to say that I've never really been successful in building a space plane. I've gotten a space once in one, and then when I came in, I sort of crashed it. This might be sitting a little lower to the ground than it should be, but... Actually, it probably super is, but, you know, here we are. All right, so we'll throttle up, and then we'll hit action group one. Okay, so that's working. I hope this will get us up to speed. I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't, which if that is the case, then we can always kick in these engines for a short time just to help get us airborne. Once we're in the air, I have a feeling this will be enough, though. At least I hope so. Yeah, because we are barely moving. Oh, but actually, we don't need to be moving very quickly. This thing started to lift off when I pulled back on that. I just don't want to lift off just yet. I'm going to go off the runway first because um, this engine's probably going to hit the runway if we were to take off now. So we'll just sit tight and see what happens here. That did not work at all. Let's go back to the uh, space plane hanger, and we're gonna mess with these wheels so that it, you know, works. Okay, can't be so low to the ground, so oh, I can double up on those. So we're gonna have these like that. It should have that should elevate it a bit. We're also gonna move these back to here. Like so. Okay, now we'll try this again. Still might not work, but at this point it's sort of just getting the timing down and the different engines to work together. Okay, already it looks looks a little more stable. So we'll throttle up and then we'll start up our first engine. 
Looks good. And, uh, I guess we'll just see how this works. Wait a little bit. Jebediah, our brave captain. By brave, I mean simple. He's a simple fool. You can tell from that dumb grin and blank stare. Okay, let's see if we can... Nope. Yeah, lift up just yet. Maybe when we hit like 70 or so, because I think that's when it worked last time. But then who knows? Let's see. Nope, nothing. You know what? I'm gonna kick in these just to get us a bit of extra lift. Oh, come on. Get up. Up, up, up. Okay. We'll kill that. And it appears to be working. We are losing a whole lot of speed, though, so maybe it won't. Oh, uh-oh. Yeah, let's kick these in again. Oh, uh-oh. Bad, 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 bad. Let's kill all the engines for a minute and see if we can get this thing to rotate well. Okay. I just kicked in everything to see if we can get this thing to work. Nope. Okay. Uh, yeah, that, um, that didn't work. Let's go back to the hangar. We'll try something. Okay, I think the issue is that all of the weight is back here, and how's this? Oh, this is off-center as well. Probably because we added the wheels. Right. So we should be able to just move these up. Oh, got to double up on that. We can move these to, like, right here. Not quite. Are you there? How's that look? That's better. Um, let's try it again. Who knows? Maybe this will work this time? Okay, as always, throttle up and start the main one. I should probably turn on the SAS. Now let's see how it works this time. It keeps drifting left and right. Not sure what that is about. Um, excuse me. Why are you why are you turning like that? Space plane, where are you going? Why? Well, let's see if we can just take off from here. Let's just, let's just revert to launch again and try that again. I'm not sure why it decided to take off in that direction. Is there wind that I'm not aware of? I mean, there probably is. Let's try this again. So everything should be uh, even on both sides. So I don't know why it would pick a direction. Well, things seem to be going better this time, at least. We aren't moving very quickly, though. Okay, we're gonna kick these in. Just for a little bit. You're drifting again, plane. Stop doing that. Oh, we need to, we need to get airborne, like, quickly. No. Damn it! Try this one more time. Revert to launch. I don't know why this is happening. Cause we've we've done it before, right? Right? Like that first time, it was fine. Well not the not the first first time. But like that second first time. Before we had to move things about a little bit. It was just, it was doing just dandy. Let's kick this in. And again, it's, it's drifting really badly. 
one side. I don't know why it's doing that. Let's go back to the hangar. I might have just killed Jebediah for good. Let's see if there's anything going on. Center of mass is in the middle. Center of lift is in the middle of that. Center of thrust also in the middle. So I don't know why it's drifting from side to side like that. It might be wheel placement. Which if that is the case, let's move these forward so it's on the same level as the front two. Because I think they might be off a little bit based on the shape of this adapter part. So we'll try this again. and hope for the best. Okay, throttle up. And we'll start up that engine. And we'll try to keep this thing steady. Still trying to drift, but we're, we're keeping it on point a bit better. I don't know if we're going to get up to speed or not. But we have our other engines just in case. Let's see if we can get some lift. Nope. No? Okay. Kicking in the backups. There we are, airborne. We'll turn those off now. Let's see if we can stay airborne. I don't really like how this is going, although we are still going up for now. I may need to kick these in. Looks like we're starting to hold steady. We are going down, so we'll try to get a little bit more airborne. Here, we'll kick in our other jet engines for now. Our plans of re-entry are dashed at this point, but we should be okay. Just hold steady here. Let's just see if we can get into space. If we get into space, this will be a successful episode in my book. Okay, let's see if we can cut these and keep going. Because as the air gets thinner, it should be less important for us to have our engines going. Although it looks like this one main one isn't going to be enough. Oh, no, it is not. Oh. Damn it. That... That is bad. Okay, let's see if we can reorient ourselves. Looks like we might be able to. Come on. Come on, ship. You can do it. Ship, what are you doing? Why... Why, Why are you doing this to us? Okay, let's try to orient ourselves a bit better here. I think it's starting to work, sort of. We can get, maybe, no, ship, stop it. Stop it, you jerk. Okay, let's kill those engines and see if we can straighten out before firing them up again. Uh, conventional wisdom says that we are not doing that, so I'm just gonna turn them back on. Why not? Kind of try to point up-ish, and 
turn these on. Jebediah is still alive, although he does not seem to realize the peril he is in. Okay, well, I sort of botched that one. Let's revert flight to the launch. And this time, hopefully, it'll work. I'm just going to turn on all of the jet engines at once at the start here. And we're not going to worry about re-entry. We're just going to try to get into space. Okay, so we should... Yeah, we're getting up to speed way faster this time. Which is good. Turn on the SAS. Yeah, we're going way faster this time. And we might still have fuel when, uh, if we re-enter, assuming we actually get to space. Let's angle up here. Oh, just kissing the ground. Alright, there we are. Things seem to be working much, much better this time. Let's try to get this up to... Oh, about 90 degrees or so. Or that 93 point. I suppose it's a 45 degree angle. Just keep angling that up a bit. Okay. Now we should be able to just ride this out until, oh, 10 to 15,000 feet. And then we'll kick in the, you know, what do you call them? space engines. I actually don't know what they're, these are called. Just the liquid fuel engines rather than the jets. And hopefully they'll be able to uh, get us into space. I guess we're going to burn up a lot of our fuel trying to do it, but who knows. Let's take a look at the orbital map just to see how things are going here. Not very high, but we're getting close. It's a shame this takes so long, because we do have to get up to about, you know, well over 10,000 feet before we can even think about getting into space. But at least we're off the ground and in the air, and on a pretty good trajectory. So this, I'm calling a success at the moment, looks like one. There's the Death Star in the distance. It's probably the moon. Let's see if we can see it. Yep, there's their moon, the Death Star. Okay, sorry about my ramblings, I'm just sort of killing time until we get up to a uh, decent height. It looks like we should be fine for fuel as far as re-entry goes though. So that's good. And we are moving much quicker now, it seems. Or maybe not, but I feel like we should be just because of our position. Okay, so we're at 10,000. Pretty soon these engines will just stop working. Because it gets too high and the air is too thin. But I think we should be able to ride this out to about 15,000 feet and then I'll kick on these engines. So we got, oh, about another thousand to go and then I'll cut all of them. There we go. I'm gonna turn these on, which is gonna burn up fuel much, much quicker, but it is also going to give us... Okay, so we are definitely in space now, so let's cut engines for a minute, take a look at this, and we'll try to add a maneuver so we can get into some orbit. Okay, so we'll do that. We don't have a lot of time to do this, but we're going to try. Four, three, turn that on. And we have to burn for a minute and a half, which I don't think we have enough fuel to do, unfortunately. But we're going to try. centered on that blue target. Uh, let's go to the orbital map and we can sort of better watch our progress. 
looks like we're off. Let's try to angle up. At least I think I needed to angle up. Um, hmm. This doesn't look good for us. Nope. We're definitely... Oh, we had a flame out in our engines. So we didn't get into orbit, and it looks like... Oh, we're in trouble. Well, that's bad. Let's just kill these engines, because they're not going to work for us. And now we just gotta try to uh, reorient ourselves, because... We're in bad shape, as far as orientation goes. I don't know what RCS is actually, but I just I turned it on. Okay, let's try to let's try to maintain some form of control. Maybe I mean I'm I'm trying, but the this this does not look good at all. Can't turn those back on. We're in a death spiral of death. Um, right. Let's see what happens if we turn these on. Maybe we can try to use those to regain some stability. That doesn't seem to be the case. Jebediah is just having a good time. He doesn't know that he's about to die in a terrible, horrible crash in the ocean. This is a really bad spin. Really bad. We are just basically free falling at this point. I'm trying to angle ourselves up, but and counteract this spin, but it's not doing anything. I'm getting absolutely nothing out of it. Oh, come on, come on! It's starting to slow down. I think. But it's it's too little, too late. Jebediah is going to meet his end in the ocean, probably. Yeah, yeah, he definitely is. We're not moving that quickly, though. I mean, just like okay, like really, we're falling really quickly. Jebediah is dead. He's a dead man. Three, two, one. Yep, that's, that didn't work. But I think we're going to uh, put that down to pilot error. The ship worked pretty well. Oh, there goes pieces. But yeah, I think, I think the ship, as it is, worked out pretty well. Let's revert to the hangar. And I might do some more work on this one. So we're going to name it. We're going to call it... We're gonna call it. Let's call it pilot failure. I'll remember which one this is. Pilot failure. I spelled failure wrong, which uh, I'm gonna keep it that way because it really just encompasses how how poorly that was done. So we we'll hit save. Okay, and now I'll just I'll call the episode there. Uh, if you guys liked it, you know, thumbs up, subscribe, all oh, that's nice. You can also follow me on Twitter at HollowedLeafLP. Other than that, uh, thanks for hanging out with me, guys, and I'll see you all later.